The day has finally come. I'm going to be revealing my first Hermes special order. Hi, my loves. I can't tell you how super, super, super excited I am because I am revealing my very first Hermes special order after so many years. And that is the reason why I went to Hawaii because yes, this bag is from Hawaii. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through, of course, unboxing the bag, but also a bit of story time because my process was a little bit different than normal. And also just my thought processes in going through colors because colors is very important and because I may never get a special order again, I wanted to make sure I picked the right color. For those of you that don't know, Hermes special order is invite only, but basically you can design and pick the own colors of your bag uh, within limitations. But in this video, I'm not gonna go into that much detail. Do let me know if you want like a really in-depth special order video, I can do that for you. I wanted to focus on color because I also get asked a lot of questions from all you guys that have been offered special orders. I get so excited for you guys as well, even though personally for my journey, it took years and I've never been offered for my local boutique, but it doesn't matter. I'm really grateful. I cannot wait to show you, but let me go through some really interesting information about the best Hermes colors that actually hold their value. Like if you're not interested in this part, of course you can just go straight to the unboxing. But I think for those of you that are interested in buying your first Hermes bag or your 15th Hermes bag, you'll find this really interesting. So recently I came across this article and you know I like my videos to be really informative. So it was from Madison Avenue Couture. I'll link it below. Madison Avenue Couture is actually like a reseller or a big consignment store based in the US. They base their ranking on how quickly it sells and how much over retail price it gets. I mean, all Hermes bags are good investments, though I don't personally buy, I don't think bags are investments. But anyway, they, they're number one and I, wholeheartedly agree is Hermes gold. So for a bit of eye candy, I'm gonna show you my gold bags as well. So this is my first one. It's not gold. Their gold refers to this beautiful, rich tan, caramel. I think Hermes does the best tan. And that is why I've made the exception that I will repeat gold, uh, Hermes gold in my collection. So I own the Kelly 32 in Rattan and this is with palladium hardware. So let me just move my SO away for a bit. And then I also own almost vintage Birkin Hack 28, which is just a bit taller than the regular Birkin. They don't make this anymore. So I was hunting this down for ages, but this one is in Epsom with gold hardware. And then I also own this in gold, which is the Kelly Dance. I've done a video, you can wear this like 10 ways. Love this bag. This is an Evercolor leather with gold hardware. And the reason why I love gold so much is because it matches everything. And you know, you can even tell, especially on these two, even though both of these are gold, depending on the leather, it picks up different colors. Like you can see in this Epsom, it looks a little bit more orange tone than this one. This one's more of like a deeper, probably more true caramel, because this is in Togo and this is in Epsom. But even in Evercolor, it looks different. So first most popular color, Hermes Gold. I was not surprised at all, and I own three bags in Hermes Gold. So whilst I was doing this, I thought it would be kind of fun. You know how we always play the guessing game? Because I do own three Hermes bags in gold, I can tell you that my SO is not in gold. And then whilst I'm going through this, I am also going to tell you the reason why I love gold so much is because it goes with so many things. Now, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit dreary. Well, Melbourne is officially in summer and it has been raining. We've had flash flooding. Uh, we've just had funny memes saying, is it winter or is it summer or is it spring? What season is it in Melbourne? And then in two days time, I was checking the forecast and it's gonna be 30, but today it's freezing and it's 15 and that's why I'm wearing this. So gold, I find so easily to match, but because it's been freezing, I wore this the other day. I love it. I actually do not own, I mean, I have a camel coat, but I don't own a 100% cashmere coat. And this is 
absolutely divine. 100% cashmere, so soft. I nearly bought the Max Mara version. The Max Mara version is classic. That retails for like 4,350 USD. Yes, really expensive. But anyway, this one is from Goelia. You guys know I have mentioned Goelia several times. They've been around since 1995, love them. And their quality of their clothes is just really, really luxe. So yeah, after work one day, I wore this coat. I wore it with my Mim bracelet sleeve caramel dress, same sort of tones, because you guys have seen me wear that dress so much. I paired it with some neutral Stuart Weitzman knee-high boots. And this coat was just perfect. It was freezing, like, it was ridiculous having the heater on in summer. I actually prefer the cut to, then to the Max Mara cut. And guess what? So this is only 699 USD with my exclusive code. So yes, I got it back. You guys have asked me, but it's even better. If you missed out on the Black Friday sales, don't worry, I, I got you covered. If you put MIM30 in, you will get 30% off site-wide of anything, no spend threshold. So at the moment on the website, you gotta buy two to get 20% off, but that's only for 72 hours. But after that, I will still have my MIM25 code. 30% is the most you'll ever get. It's the highest they've given anyone, but a classic cashmere coat, is such a great investment and I love that it's double-breasted. It's timeless, it's elegant and will never go out of style. So what came in at number two? No surprise, another classic, which is of course Hermes Noir. Black goes with everything. Us Melburnians, we love black. For eye candy, this is another color that I will make an exception for and have multiples in my Hermes bag collection. This was my very first one, Miss Annie, my classic Kelly in 28. It's the Cellier with Palladium hardware. Hubby got this uh, for me during our 17th or 18th wedding anniversary. Anyway, quite a number of years ago. And she's a classic. I love her to death. I've used her so much. And that is often why gold and black for your very first quota bag, a lot of people go with that because they honestly hold their value the best and they integrate so well with what you've got in your wardrobe. So I have that one. I also have this one here. I think this was my second black bag. I love the Picatin. This one's a little bit more special because it's a Picatin touch because it's got the alligator handles. So this is a Picatin in 22 with gold hardware and this is in Clemence leather. So this was an Epsom. And then I also have, which is a vintage one that I got maybe a couple of years ago, is this beautiful vintage black bullied in size 31. Box leather is a heritage leather. It's one of Hermes' oldest leathers and it's got this beautiful sheen. Again, this has got gold hardware. It's got a few scratches, but it patinas over time and I love it. And then finally, my biggest, Birkin 35. This is in the Return. I do own a Cellier as well, but this I got in Hawaii. Palladium hardware. It is a big bag, but I love the 35. I've always wanted a 35 in my collection. There's something just so chic about a really big black bag. And especially in winter with your coats and everything, it looks, I don't know, big bags kind of make you look a little bit slimmer maybe. Again, black looks different depending on the leathers and whether you want to go with palladium or with gold, you can't go wrong. It's personal preference. Will I add more black bags? Maybe, yes, but because I own four, hint number two, that my SO is not in black. But really funny, you guys said to me, M Mel, you're from Melbourne and I've never seen you wear all black. And that is true. I do wear black a lot, but not all black. And so I wanted to pair one of my bags with an all black look because this jacket impressed me so much. And yes, all black, the classic puffer jacket. And even though I do buy designer ready to wear, like Moncler does great puffer jackets, Canada Goose, they're all really known. They cost thousands of dollars, especially Moncler. This is so warm. Look at this. It is, you can see here, it is goose down lining, which really keeps you insulated during really cold temperatures. And actually, Hubby and I and the whole family, we would really love to experience a white Christmas. So hopefully next year we would like to go. And I love this one because it comes with this really cool sort of more utility belt. And when you zip it up, you can't tell, but they've even put little details, like they've got magnets there and it helps just close it up. So I saw a really similar version. Canada Goose ones are 
still quite reasonable, but they have a really similar one, also Goose Down, for 1,450. This, which is exactly the same, is 286 USD with MIM 30. Also, both the coats are actually water repellent, but this one's also oil repellent and stain repellent, which I have to say I was very impressed with. What I wore my Birkin 35 with was with this jacket, all black look for you, as I said, with these pants, keeping with the warm theme, these ones are so warm. Can you see inside it's lined in this fleece, but it, it's not too bulky. So they are super, super warm. So you don't need to wear thermals underneath. So I chose these because I think eventually I'm gonna need a pair of pants. If we're gonna go to and experience a really cold white Christmas with the puffer jacket and a simple 100% wool knit top. This is just great, 39 USD. I was like, 100% wool, are you serious? It's more fine, but it's great for us because it's a great layering piece, not scratchy or itchy. It's beautiful, soft and fine. So that is my complete black look with the bag. But just to show you another way of wearing it, I've just worn the same pants. I saw this, I'm not a fan of turtlenecks because they just don't tend to suit me that well. But because last time I tried one of their mock necks, I feel like that's a really good in-between. So I picked this 100% cashmere one, this in this beautiful neutral shade. If you don't wanna do all black, you can break it up with just a gorgeous knit like this. This is 100% cashmere with this, and then I paired this with some ankle boots and my black Picatin. And you know what? I saw something really similar in Hermes, and it was, of course, a few thousand dollars, but I love this one because it's got a bit more detail. Can you see? It's got these vertical stripes. It's got like a V stripe there, and that just adds a bit of interest. All right, if you haven't guessed the theme of this video, yes, I'm talking specifically focusing on Hermes neutrals because honestly, they tend to hold their value the best and they're the most popular. So up next, which Madison Avenue's article didn't include, but in other articles, I saw that it did. And I personally think it's one of the best colors. It's within the gray family too. And I'm talking about a taupe. Etoupe is one of the OGs. Well, Etoupe, Gold, and Noir, they're the permanent colors that you always see in Hermes. It's sort of in the gray family, gray with a brown undertone to it. And with Etoupe, you do have the contrast stitching, which I like. I only added this bag at the start of this year, and I love it. And I only have one bag in Etoupe. So hint, maybe, would I add more in Etoupe? Maybe, yes, because I really, really love this color. It goes with so many of my outfits fits as well. Staying within the gray family, my only Etan bag is this beauty, my Birkin 25 uh, Return with rose gold hardware. I couldn't get this from my local boutique, so I actually went down the reseller route and I got this from Eclair. And this one is so special. I've always wanted the Etan with the rose gold hardware. This is a true gray. You can see this is probably more charcoal, whereas in, even though this is gray, this really kind of looks a bit more taupey, but both of these colors retain their value so, so well. And and I only own one of each. So would I add more Etan? Maybe, hint, hint for my SO. Just before I go and quickly show you what I styled it with, I wanna show you a quick little unboxing of one thing that fits into this sort of theme. And of course, from the box, you guys are like, know what it is. But this is a new colorway in the gray family. And I think that it's, going to be popular as well because anything in gray tends to be quite popular and I got a little Fagas Rodeo. Let me tell you the color of this. So this is in beige Marfa, the horse hair and the ties in mauve pale and then the wings are in mocha. You know what? It goes really well. It's actually the perfect Rodeo to go on this. See? It goes so well. So I wanted to show you that. That's another little thing that I got from Hawaii. But with this bag, how would I style it? I'm focusing really on their coats because it's winter season for most of my followers out there in the Northern Hemisphere. But again, I wore this the other day because it was freezing. Again, 100% cashmere, this beautiful wrap coat. I don't own anything in this color and I was so excited when I saw it on their website. As a new arrival, it is the perfect shade of taupe and it goes so well with 
a tube and I love it. Like I own like a cream S Max Mara version, but that's only 100% wool and I paid more for that than this. So this only retails for 630 USD for 100% cashmere coat. It also obviously comes with the belt so you can tie it up or you can just tie it at the back and just wear it loose. This isn't this shade just beautiful, so soft, a little bit of stitching detail. If the color is in the same family, even though it's not the exact match, it still goes. So I have paired it with this. This is also from Goelia. This is their 100% cashmere hoodie. But what I love about this one is that you can actually undo this zip as well. So it can look like a normal hoodie or you can zip it up. It just looks a little bit more stylish when you have more ways to wear it than just a zipped up hoodie. And then one thing that I don't, it's up to you. For me, I'm not a huge pants person. Cashmere pants, of course, would cost a lot of money, but I just wanted a cozy knit pant. And you know, some things I'll splurge on, some things I'll save on. And this is like 49 US dollars and it's so cozy and warm. Again, I've already worn this because inside, as you can see, it's sort of like a fleecy lined fabric. So it's super comfortable. And again, Mel loves elastic. I will put all my sizes down below. So inexpensive and the color goes so well. It looks so much more expensive than it is because I actually like all the vertical detailing on it. It's not just completely plain. So that's just a great option if you're like me and you might not want to invest in cashmere pair of pants, but a cashmere jacket is totally worth the investment. So I wore this with the pants, kept it completely neutral with my Etoup Kelly belt because it goes with this bag here. And then I just paired it with some cream ankle boots. So that whole look I actually wore the other day because I told you it's been freezing here. So with my Etan Beauty, you've seen me wear this dress before and it is my gorgeous Dior dress that hubby got for me with the zip detail. Something like this in Dior would have cost me quite a few thousand and hubby got it for a few hundred. So I love this. I can wear this during fall. In winter, just if you want extra layering, that 100% wool knit I mentioned before, really inexpensive for $39. <laughs> just wear it underneath with some black boots and this and you're good to go. And then finally, to round up the most popular and best investment color for Hermes in the neutral family. Yes, people have gone nuts for Nata and crazy for Cray. So I only own one bag in Nata, which is a very special mini Kelly. This is in Ostrich. Again, I got this from Hawaii, the start of last year, and this has got gold hardware. So these lighter shades, instead of having like a stark white bag, even though Blanc is beautiful, and Blanc was actually an OG color as well, I love Nata. Nata is different from Cray. I don't own a bag in Cray, but I do have a few Rodeos in Cray. Cray is more cooler toned, whereas in Nata is warmer tone, as you can sort of see here. Both of these colors have been so popular and that's shown in the resale market, that's shown in the requests of what people are asking for in their quota bags. So Cray and Nata, just beautiful, lighter color bags. Don't be afraid to go for a Cray or Nata bag or, I mean, Hermes even got other colors like Baton and Grey Pearl, which is beautiful as well, but Cray and Nata, just divine. So what I've worn with my, I've worn this a lot, goes with so much again because it's a neutral, but it goes really well even with pink. So this jacket here, I love this one because it's more like a coatigan. I love my cardigans, but I don't own anything like it. I like how it's got this sort of like quilted design on this jacket. And yes, it is very sort of reminiscent of Chanel. Actually in 2023, I was really attracted to this pink Chanel cardigan, but that was like, I think six or maybe $7,000. And that was not even wool. So this is like, 70, over 70% 70 wool. And this jacket actually even came with a little bag. How cute is that? Miss S saw this and said, oh my gosh, so cute, I want it. So this is hers now. But I just saw on their website, something similar-ish, more in tweed, but like a you know warmer fabrication. I almost died when I saw this price. Something like this currently retails in Chanel for over 17,000 Australian dollars. And that is just something I'm, personally, I don't think it's worth it. I do love Chanel jackets, don't get me wrong, but I. I also love Chanelist jackets and I have a lot in my collection from all various designers like Self Portrait or some Australian designers like Rebecca Valance. 
but I just really love this because it totally gave me Chanel vibes. And this is only after using MIM30, I think it's only like $150. So, so worth it. And then I've just paired this with my MIM 2-in-1 cami in the pink because it goes really well and some wide-legged denim jeans and some cream pumps to tie in with the nata that's a very casual look that you know fall winter you can wear even melbourne apparently in summer so that is what i wore so hint I don't own anything in Cray. And would I add more in Nata and Cray? 100% yes. I hope you found that information informative because it's nice to know that the bag that you've picked or the colors that you're selecting not only goes with your wardrobe, but it's nice to know that they hold their value so well. Of course, color is subjective and there's more on the list, but that's another whole video because there's other Hermes colors that retain their value really well. If you like to know that, I can make a separate video on it. The top Hermes neutrals that have the best resale value, that are the best investments, are all those that I mentioned, gold, noir, etoupe etan, and crayon nata. From that, what do you think I did my SO in? Comment your guess below. So let me put this down and let's get to this. And yes, I'll tell you the story time too, but before I do, let me just unbox it and show you because I've already worn it. So I did box it back up. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh. To reveal. Dun, dun, dun. I haven't even done her all up because I've just worn her. So let me just get it. This is a really tight fit, but ta-da! Oh my goodness. May I present to you my first SO. So I chose the Birkin 25 Cellier uh, and I chose it in the Multico. So it is in Cray, because I don't own anything in Cray and the sides are in grey asphalt. So you know how I was giving you a hint that I would love to add more in the grey family? Grey asphalt or grey moet uh, are colours I've always wanted to add, but grey moet was not available. So I picked this. And I also picked, which I need to peel the stickers off, this is in brush gold hardware. I don't know if I will ever be offered an SO again. So I wanted something different. They're basically, not to go into a whole SO video, but there's a few options you can pick. You can pick one option which is called line, which is basically the whole bag is in the same color. The lining is in the same color, but you have to do contrast stitching. So that's one option. Second option is the verso. So the bag is in, pretend this is all in cray, and then the inside of the bag is in a contrasting color. So a lot of people might love cray, but they don't want to go multico like me, and then they might pick like a fun lining on the inside. So that's verso. Mine is the multico, and so that's the two colors. And in the past, Hermes used to do tricolor where you could pick three but then I think they stopped that because there have been some color combinations that I would say haven't been the best so they probably don't want to put their Hermes name down to that but there have been some tricolor combinations that have been stunning but I picked this. I think it is so classic. I think it is such a beautiful neutral. And I really wanted to pick the Birkin 25 Cellier because, oh, okay, the story is, I forgot about the story. I got offered the SO, this SO last year in early April. So currently Hermes only offered, the SO season is once per year. It starts from about end of August up till end of May, sometimes June, depends from store to store. The only store where SOs are offered year round is the Mothership store in Paris. But other than that, all the other stores have one SO season a year. Previously it used to be two. So I was offered it, but I wasn't in Hawaii. I actually had to do the whole process over a Zoom call with my SA Joyo. You know how you usually get the experience with the big burgundy box and you get all the examples of color swatches, the threads, the metalwork. I didn't have that. Even though I didn't have that, I was just so, so excited that I was able to do my first SO. So if you are lucky enough to be offered an SO, usually it's for their loyal clients, but I've heard from several friends that they're actually offering SOs to like some of the newer clients that you might not have as long of a history because you can imagine those people that have been buying Hermes for ages, they might be on to their fifth SO. So they're trying to give the opportunity more to others, which 
is more fair, you know, but I have to be honest, I would love a second SO. But even if I don't, when this came out of the bag, I was like, perfection. Even though you are designing the bag, you are limited by like, if you wanna pick the exterior color, you have to pick from a certain list. The interior color, you have to pick from a certain list. And I also actually really wanted to pick something in Chev, but in Chev, it didn't have the two color options that I wanted. And then also depending on what bag you pick as well. So the reason why I went for a Birkin 25 Cellier was because at that time I hadn't been offered my blue broom. So I wanted to pick a shape I didn't own, colors I didn't own for my first SO. But a couple months after that, I was offered my blue broom 25 Cellier from my local boutique. But it doesn't matter, I love the Cellier. I love a structured bag. Of course, it has the beautiful horseshoe stamp. That's what sort of differentiates it. And one thing I did wanna mention is, even though this is in the brushed gold, only this comes in brushed gold. The feet actually are just in the regular gold and the zipper inside is actually in the regular gold as well. Oh yes. My insert, of course, is the 7RP one, which matches beautifully. This is in a beautiful grey tortorelle, which I picked. And of course, I've always used their inserts. They're the best. I will leave a link down below if you did want to get it. I still have the highest code. But yeah, just to be aware of anything, even with the brushed palladium, it will just have the normal palladium hardware down the bottom. And yes, that is my beautiful SO. What do you guys think? Like this is not a new sort of combination or anything. I've seen variations, I think when they've done Gris Tortorelle on the side or some other gray family, but gray asphalt was on the list. I chose the side, it has contrast stitching because you can pick the stitching colors to be tonal, like so it's tonal on the front and then contrast stitching on the side there. I know not all of you may like that. I think ultimately with your SO, don't feel compelled to go for something different. If you just want an all over gold bag and you haven't been able to get it, Go with what you love. I just wanted something a little bit different. And if I ever got the opportunity to do an SO again, I maybe might go a bit more wild. I don't know. Usually SOs have been taking six months to 12 months. With exotics and ciliers, they can take a bit longer. So that is why when I got the call from Joyo, I was in my Europe trip. And then you're given a period of time where you have to go pick up the bag. That's why so shortly after my Europe trip, I went to Hawaii because I needed to pick up this beauty. And it was a very short trip, but you've seen all my Hawaii vlogs. And spoiler alert, I still have more of a Hawaii haul to show you and another very surprising bag reveal but of course i wanted to show you my so first for the so's certain stores depending on how the size of them they have be different allocations so for example just say a store has 10 allocations for an so a year this is in regular leather if you want to be offered an exotic so it is super super hard to get and only really reserved for the vv 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 vips so like just say out of 10 they might be eight or nine regular offerings and maybe only one or two exotics. But if I'm ever given a chance to do an exotic SO, I would jump at the opportunity. But for now, I am so content with this. I could not think of a more perfect first special order for me. If you are a lover of Hermes like me, don't be afraid to ask for an SO. You never know. Like it's the rules are changing and you don't have to spend $100,000 to be offered an SO. Sometimes you may get lucky, so you won't know until you ask. And you know, best of all, this bag, I know a lot of you may think that an SO actually costs more, but it doesn't. It's exactly the same price as a regular bag. But when you place the order, you don't pay for it yet. So just say you place it and when it comes, for some reason you don't like it because Paris can actually change your order without telling you like just say you picked a color and they're like no I don't think that goes they can change it not that too often but it's happened so just say you didn't like it you don't have to buy it you know when you see it so for the price of this I don't have my receipt on me but I will list the price here but it's exactly the same as what a Birkin 25 Cellier would cost that is my thought processes on what I went through something I, colors I didn't own and something that would just integrate really well with my outfit and neutrals are so popular and cray is in one of the top neutral colors that I know it's always gonna 
be very coveted and that's why I chose this. Name, we need a name guys, what should I name her? Do you know what was quite funny? When I showed the kids this bag, they were like, mommy, it looks like Chino and Chai's coloring because Chino is kind of like this color with gray. Not that I would call it Miss Chino, <laughs> well I could but I need a name suggestion. So this is Cray and this is Gris Asphalt. You will be surprised how much this bag goes with everything. But because I picked Cray, I needed a cream coat. I don't have a coat in this color. And one that I've always wanted is the Max Mara Teddy, but that costs 4,190. I've tried it on and it looks actually doesn't look that great on me. It's supposed to be oversized. So when I saw this one on Go Goelia, another classic coat you can't go wrong is a really big wool teddy coat. But look, it's the same sort of cream color. And this is oversized, it is so warm, but with my coat, this is only $265. I know, right? It is lined, it is warm. It also comes in camel if you do prefer camel, but I obviously was partial to this sort of cream color. And I also picked a pair of their knit pants. Again, this is really inexpensive. I think these are like $59, then you can use my discount. And then, you know, I've just worn the same cashmere knit underneath because that sort of brings the uh, gray asphalt into play. And then I just wore some cream ankle boots. Again, I will link everything I'm wearing down below with my sizes. So that with this goes really well. But you know what? Everything that I've mentioned previously, I wanted to show you it all goes. Like I was kind of shocked when I was just trying everything. I'm like, okay, my SO matches it. My SO matches it. As I showed you before, this gorgeous taupe cashmere wrap coat. I wore this with this hermes <laughs> mock neck, those black uh, pants. Of course, you could wear black denim with some black boots and this. That goes so, so well. And then with the very first coat, the original double-breasted cashmere camel coat, and this one even comes with a cashmere beret. How good is that? Even this goes with this. I know, right? So how you tie it in is I've got the beautiful sequin mock neck, with this underneath, I paired it with a chul skirt, a little bit more feminine, some cream pumps, and yes, camel even goes with it. You would think warmer and cooler tones don't, but it works. So I'm just so impressed. Like any combination that I pretty much picked from Goelia, it goes. The options are endless. And that is why I really wanted to focus on neutrals. So guys, that is it for this video. My beautiful SO and showing you all the popular and most coveted Hermes colors that hold their value and styling them for you. I know this has been a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and Stay tuned for the next video because in my Hermes unboxings, I will have a giveaway for you. And don't forget to use my highest discount code from Goelia, which is MIM30, which gets you 30% off anything site-wide. Let me know which look was your favorite down below. And yeah, please give me your name suggestions. So have a wonderful day or night, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.